Hey sports fans, Brian Bergner here, Associate Sports Editor with The Daily Courier. I just wanted to call your attention to a very cool feature story we've got in Tuesday's edition in the sports section. I got a chance to head down to Arizona Diamondback Spring Training in Scottsdale uh, over the weekend. Uh, they invited me to have a chance to talk with Jason Pridey. If you are a longtime Prescott Badger baseball fan, you'll know that name, Jason Pridey. He hit 592 his senior season in 2002, leading the Badgers to a state championship that season. About a few months later, after they won the state title, in June, he got drafted by the Tampa Bay Devil Rays with the 43rd overall selection in that year's MLB Amateur Draft. And he has been playing baseball all this time for the last 15 years. So we got a chance to sit down with him. He's now an Arizona Diamondback uh, and was recently uh, put in the minor league camp. So he will be with the Reno Aces, but he's got a chance to be a call-up. So here's our interview with Jason Pridey. Talk a little bit about what it's like being back in Arizona and playing for the Diamondbacks organization? Well, um, you know, it's a great feeling to uh, finally be able to join this organization. Um, you know, 16 years playing. Uh, I've been playing all over, mostly Florida, and early in the year, or my early in my career, and was finally able to spring train here a few years um, over the last three, four years. And then to finally be able to put on the Diamondbacks uniform, obviously, is a, um, is a big uh, point of pride for me because, you know, I grew up with this team and then when they were the expansion team. and. Um, you know, I remember everything about the first years and everything. So to be able to do this um, is, is a pretty good feeling. Jason also talked to me about his chance to be able to play first base this season. The Diamondbacks feel that he'd be more valuable to them as not only an outfielder, but at first base. So he's been taking a lot of reps. So I've got some video of him here that you'll see shortly uh, taking first base and him talking about what it's like uh, converting to a first base position, which he may back up Paul Goldschmidt if he is going to make the roster. Here he is. Been an outfielder for pretty much your entire career. Mm -hmm. uh, where are they going to see you? Where are they looking to kind of see if you can play a different? Is it first base? Is it? Yeah, yeah, they got me over there first base, and they don't really have a true backup for Goldie. Um, obviously, Goldie's a workhorse. You know, he's going to be playing 160 games a year, sure. um, and you, you know, I'm, I'm not looking to jump, boost him out of the spot by any means. Um, but you know, it's another way to keep playing this game too. Um, you know, obviously, everyone knows I can play outfield. I can play all three positions. That's you know what I do. But to be able to be able to say you can play another position that helps you see nowadays with the Ben Zobris. You know, he's kind of the prime example of the super utility guy. Um, you know, he's a guy who can play everywhere. And, you know, he's obviously a really good player. So he's been able to make, you know, make that work. But there's, you look around all over the place now. There's guys who are, there's their utility guys. You got your, you got your main guys that play one position, but the utility guy is a huge key um, to this game. It's really evolved, especially since I started. And, um, you know, just to be able to add that, say I play first, um, you know, maybe even some third if needed. Um, again, it's not something that I think is going to be <coughs> necessarily a, um, <coughs> what's the word, uh, like a, um, a, a huge difference, I guess. I don't know, it's hard, it's, it's hard to see what I'm trying to say, but it's not going to, like, change my career you know, by a, a, a large amount. But it's just something that, you know, as I'm getting older, to have that in the back pocket is, is always a good thing because the teams can say, well, he can play outfield and infield. You double switch, you do this, you do that. It's just versatility. So it just continues to add to my, uh, you know, to my abilities. We also got a chance to talk with Ron Gardenhire. He is the current Arizona Diamondbacks bench coach and was the former Minnesota Twins manager when Jason Pratty was coming up as a rookie in 2008. So here's what Ron had to say about not only Jason's uh, ability to make the transition to first base, but how well he's doing. Coach, talk a little bit about your history with Jason Pratty. And you were just mentioning off camera that uh, you know his maturation as a player between I mean, you had him with the Minnesota Twins to now has been pretty impressive. Yeah, you know, he was an outfielder, a, a highly you know, drafted prospect, and uh, worked his tail off a, a good player, but you know, as all young players, they have a little confidence that uh, they have to find and uh, self-confidence. But uh, to see him now, as to back then, if, if you would have told him back in the day, when, well, us, we're going to put you at first base, he'd have a heart attack. And he would have he really, you know, been one of those, uh, I don't know if I've never done it. But let me tell you what, he stepped right in over here, and he looks like he's been playing first base his whole life. Uh, you know, he's hung around the game. He loves the game of baseball. Good for him. Talk about 
going back to your high school days in Prescott and being a Badger, <laughs> talk about uh, you know what, what would you say your best memory is uh, of playing and, and being a, a Prescott high school kid? Well, the, the memory that jumps out first is winning the state championship. I mean, that's something I'll never forget. Just the circumstances. Um, you know, I was able to pitch. I got three out of the four wins pitching that series. I came in late in the championship game, uh, you know, coming in and I remember there was a play at first I covered and I had to kind of like dive and make the play and that's that kept the game tied, went to extra innings, then I hit the home run in the ninth inning. You know, it's just one of those things where that's a that's a memory obviously, you know, being in high school, playing the sports, that's, that's the goal, win state championship. Um, you know, just like now the goal as you get to professional, it's, it's you know, in college, you win the College World Series and baseball and the uh, professional, you win the World Series. So that uh, that is the the one thing that, that always sticks in my mind, I can kind of flash back to that anytime and get chills almost thinking about the circumstances and everything um, of winning that state championship with that group of guys. Finally, we got a chance to talk to Tori Lovello. He's the new skipper for the Arizona Diamondbacks, hired in the offseason after Chip Hale was fired from the Diamondbacks organization. Tori Lovello uh, saw Jason Pratty play in the Baltimore Orioles organization and really likes what the veteran offers to the Diamondbacks. Coach, talk a little bit about Jason Friday and, uh, you know, he's made a few appearances for you this season, uh, you know, spring for the D-backs. You know, what have you liked so far about his performance with the club? Well, first of all, I want to just say that um, he, we're, we love having him around and, and uh, he's, been, he's been a great addition to this organization. I've watched Jason play for a long time with his days back in Baltimore and the minor leagues. I was always a big fan of his and um, he's, he's taken it right off from where I thought he, he was and uh, he has had a great spring. We've asked him to change positions, which is, uh, or get a lot of work at first base, not necessarily change positions, but he's done a great job over there at first base. And, uh, you know, you ask that type of player to do that in this point in his career and he accepts it the way he does, it speaks volumes about this type of guy. Talk about, about guy that transition a little bit. I was out there watching him. He looks pretty natural at it. It shouldn't be yeah. too much of a change for him, but obviously, you know, it'd be nice to have a nice solid backup just in case something happens to goalie. Well, that's the reason why he's over there, and we explained that to him. He's going to come in here and get a lot of reps as a first baseman in case something happens. And, uh, um, you know, not, not, to, not to overlook the fact that he's a very good hitter, too. And uh, we know he can play the outfield, and that versatility will always be there for him. But uh, I, I made the comment the other day, you know, I would have never thought he didn't play first base once in his career. I know, well, maybe a handful of times. He's grasped the concepts very, very well and done more than we've asked. Well, those are all the interviews we have for you. If you're interested in reading the story, go online at dcourier.com. Also pick up an edition of the Daily Courier on Tuesday newsstands. Here's kind of what it looks like, the front page. It's very awesome. Jason was fantastic in the interview, and we thank the Arizona Diamondbacks and Jason Pratty for their time. And uh, if you need any more information, please follow me on Twitter at SportsWriter52 and find the story on dcourier.com.